more women than ever are working in cybersecurity, from the entry-level employees all the way up to the C-suites and the CEOs. So look up, look around. We need to see reflections of ourselves. Action. We have Molly Moore here today, our Chief of Adversary Defeat in the National Security Agency. And can you talk a little bit about your background and how you got into the cybersecurity field? I think I have a non-traditional path to cybersecurity because when I started at the agency 34 years ago, most of us didn't even have computers on our desks, so cybersecurity was a long way away. I worked as a Farsi linguist for 25 years, and then I moved over to our computer network operations organization. And then from there, because of the new focus on cybersecurity, they brought people with operational background into cybersecurity. You are the chief of adversary defeat. That is a very fierce name. Yes. Uh, can you talk a little about, about what that mission is and why it's important? When we say adversary defeat, that's really a stretch goal. What we really want to try to do is aggravate, disrupt the adversary so they can't do the things they want to do. Doesn't mean we're going to stop them, right? These are, these are persistent adversaries, but to make it harder, to make them alter their schedule, their approach, make them second guess what they're doing and make sure they know that it's not going to be without some kind of cost. What's the most surprising thing that you've learned while working in the cybersecurity field? The most surprising thing was the power of cybersecurity advisories and public attribution and the public-private partnership. Exposing them, just putting it out there, really makes it hard for them to operate in the way they want to operate. And if you could say one thing to female leaders out there, what would it be? The first thing you have to do is just embrace your strength. Understand what you bring to the mission. Don't back down. There are a lot of conversations, you know, in the last couple of years about having a seat at the table. And I would say if, if you deserve a seat at the table, take it. And you and I have both been, you know, benefactors of people who have really supported us in our careers. And I think it's really up to us now to do that for the next generation of female leaders. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of having diverse voices in the cybersecurity field? So when I first started in cybersecurity, there weren't a lot of women there. And what we had to really invest in is how do we build a workforce that, that represents all parts of our society and leverages all the strengths and the innovation and the ideas and the perspectives that all, all those people can bring to the fight. Thank you for joining us on this series and thank you for your service.